My first time in New Orleans was nothing short of amazing. From the food, to the beautiful architecture, to the people, it's a must in your travel bucket list. My first full day in New Orleans was my birthday, and all I did was eat. Starting with the best spicy chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life from Molly's Rise and Shine in Magazine Street. Then my family and I spent a lot of time walking around just having fun being tourists. We hit up Magazine Street, then went to the French Quarter, and we hit up all the famous sites like Café du Monde, French Market, and lots of souvenir shops along the way. Before dinner, we listened to a little bit of jazz and then headed straight to one of my favorite spots, Elizabeth Street Cafe. I go to the one in Austin all the time, and everything was, as I predicted, delicious. I had a great time with my family, and it was a 24th birthday well spent. Day two was a gloomy one, so we didn't really do much. We mainly just walked around, hitting up a lot of cool art galleries and soaking up all the art that we could. also headed back to Magazine Street and had lunch at San Lorenzo at the Hotel St. Vincent. It was beautiful. We had amazing Italian food. We just spent hours eating, drinking coffee, spending time as a family, just letting the rain pass. To end this gloomy day, we strolled along the most beautiful park near Magazine Street. We had loads of fun just admiring all the charming little houses along the streets and being in nature. Day three was even more walking and exploring. We spent the morning at a charming little cafe and then ventured back to the French Quarter to eat at one of New Orleans' staple restaurants. <laughs> Antoine's dates back to 1840, so it is a classic restaurant and a must visit when you're in New Orleans. Personally, it wasn't my favorite. The food was good. But for a restaurant to stand the test of time like Antoine's has, they must be doing something right. We then spent all afternoon riding around the green streetcar that takes you through all St. Charles Avenue. Along the way, you can see so many incredible houses, gorgeous parks, and even a few of New Orleans' most famous universities. It was an amazing experience, and streetcars are a must if you visit New Orleans. For our last dinner, we hit up the Chloe, and it might have just been my favorite meal. The ambience was moody and beautiful, the food was innovative and delicious, and I ended the night blowing out my birthday candles one last time. Thank you, New Orleans, for your kind southern hospitality and for a trip I will never forget.